Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I've got a art journaling process video for you. So this one's for the Craft Online creative team. I'm so excited to be on that one. And you might recognise the bits that I'm using from that very first unboxing I did as part of their team. I had this idea in my ha head before they approached me and I'd actually started working on it um, before then but I hadn't recorded what I was doing that um, I so I tried art journaling a couple of years ago and after one and a half pages I stopped because of various stuff that um, sort of got in the way of me doing that and then um, when when all that news about Dolly happened do, do it for Dolly campaign and all of that I was in I was inspired by this child's story to do an art journal page. So I did my second ever completed art journal page um, in to sort of get down my feelings about what happened with that. And a big part of the way I did that may, started me feeling like I could give this a go again, but I put that on the back burner, created that page, loved that page. Um, but... I just, I didn't, I didn't go any further. I didn't do a third one. And then about, uh, when we were in, probably in June, I got this, I, I, I revisited an idea I'd had before, which was a big factor in why I stopped was how overwhelming it was that you needed so much stuff to do one page. So I, when I did the page for Dolly, I was really limited on my supplies. I literally had just two tubes of paint available, I think it was. Um, and, uh, yeah, just I, I, I had one stamp and I can't remember what else. I only had a very limited amount of stuff to play with. And that worked for me. Not, You know what I mean? Like not having so much, that's what worked for me. So I started thinking about limiting myself to supplies and for each time I do an art journal. And so I then experimented for my third page, which he just saw when I flipped then, with just limiting myself to 10 mils of four different paints. And I think it was one stamp or something like that, or one stencil and some magazine cutouts and some scrap papers. That was it. And while I wasn't happy with how the paints blended because I didn't think when I picked out my paints and I made mud, I was happy with how the process went with limiting. So after doing the third page, I decided I'm going to get back into art journaling and I'm going to record each one I do so that people can see a beginner um, with limited supplies, what happens. So that's this page. Now, as for what you just saw, you saw me playing with that gorgeous little 3x5 gel press and the paints that I got in my order. I'll put a list for, of everything I've used down in the description. Um, and, yeah, I just was playing with the brayer. I just wanted to see what could happen, what I could do with just the gel press, a brayer, and a paper doily <laughs> to see what would happen. I wasn't too happy with it, as you saw, so I put down the teal paint and then used a stencil with um, a wet wipe to rub some of the teal paint off. Um, so, um, and I've also spritzed it with some purple dilution spray. Now, the right side is the page I'm actually focusing on creating. The left side is for wiping up my excess and just testing something. Like, I've tested that. I'm like, yeah, okay, I like that. And now I'm adding it to this side and then I'm like, no, I don't like it on either side, so I smudge it. And I like how it looks once I've smudged that gesso. Oh, this stamp. Look at this stamp. This stamp is so awesome. This is um, this was in that unbox that very first unboxing I did for the Craft Online Creative Team. It's from Stampenduous. Stampenduous? Huh? I'm having a tongue-tied day. And it is awesome. And I'm experimenting with stamping with gesso. And I love how it turned out. It looks so great. I do forget to do my stems and don't realise until after I've cleaned up all my gesso. So I have instead of stamping my stems, I, um, I use a palette knife and just do some lines. Looks cool. Um, but, yeah, so this is just me playing with limited supplies to create an art journal page. And while I'd had this 
going on in my head, I watched one of Chrissy Mannix's um, art journaling vid videos and she used this beautiful quote that really spoke to me. And so I typed that quote up in a Word doc and then I entered that quote into Google and did a Google image search and that brought up other similar beautiful quotes that really spoke to me. Um, so I, I've got this document, you'll see it soon, that is just full of these beautiful quotes about um, about creating and life and wonder and all that, that um, I want my art journal to be full of these because it makes me feel good. <laughs> so, yeah, so there's the journey to how I got to doing this page, a bit of it. And, um, yeah, this is how it's turned out. It was literally, that left page was literally just smushing what was left over. And I love how it turned out. It was literally just playing. Like that wasn't even playing. That was that was wiping up the leftovers and it it that background. I love it. Anyway, so I've limited myself to one stamp, one stencil, and I think I've got five paints in this, one ink spray and one ink. So um, it's working for me. And I've got these die cut birds. These are from the Poppy Crafts die that was in that unboxing, and I. I just put a whole heap through the die cutting machine. I cut out a whole heap in watercolour paper and I just have them on the side of my desk <laughs> ready for whenever I want a bird. And I love them. They are so gorgeous. And I've just coloured them with some distress inks. As you saw, I just put some like yellowy orange one down, smooshed them through it. Then I've just put some red down and I've just dipped various spots of the bird down to give them you know, a blended sort of feathery look. And they're so cute. I love them. Here's my quote. I'm just trimming that up to stick down. This isn't the one that Chrissy shared. It's one of the ones that I found by searching the quote she shared. Um, so for the background, I literally was just playing at the bare basic level with the gel press. And then I added the teal paint over it, put the stencil on, wiped it, Wipe the wet wipe through the stencil. Then I stenciled with some black archival ink to add some more depth and contrast and texture. Spritzed with the dilution spray, stamped with that gorgeous stamp, smooshed some gesso. Love it. Now I'm working out where my quotes going to go and where my birds are going. Now, the one mistake I did when I set up was I didn't get out the right glue for sticking down things on an art journal page. I didn't get down like a, a decoupage paste or something like that. Instead, I've just grabbed what was on my desk, which is the tacky glue. It works fantastic. It's it's fine. It's, it does the job and it dries beautifully, but I squeeze too much out. <laughs> but I love it. And squeezing too much out comes in handy with the bird to the right because I experiment with that bird in a moment with the um, Stabilo All pencil and I don't like what I do to the bird. So because I put so much glue on, the bird was quite wet and I was able to just rub it off with my fingers and replace the bird, which was awesome. <laughs> anyway, um, um, so it just works for me. See, I'm just replacing that birdie now. I'm just colouring it colouring an identical one to cover over that bird that I don't like what I did with the Stabilo or pencil on it. So I've decided just to do the pencil on the flowers. Um, so uh, I know some of you might not feel like I'm a beginner since I've been scrapbooking for so long, um, but for me, art journaling is just right out there. <laughs> I'm a scrapbooker. I, I I don't, I can't draw, I can't do like, you know, fine art or anything like that. So art journaling has been something I've really struggled with, with doing because um, with my hand not being able to draw and all of that, um, it's just that next step in accepting I'm creative is accepting that I can art journal. Does that make sense? Um, so if you haven't given it a go yet, give it a go. And some of the people whose videos inspired me and made me feel like I could do this is Courtney from Little Raven Inc., James Burke, Amira from Oz, 
and Chrissy Mannix. Um, I'm sure there's more, but I can't think of them right now. They're the ones whose art journaling makes me feel like I can do this. So I highly recommend checking them out. Anyway, there is my spread. You know, my intentional right side, my wipe up the leftovers left side. They go together. I love the finished result. I hope this has inspired you to create. Thank you for watching.